This room looks kind of normal, but everywhere else is looking a little bit barer than usual. Like my hallway. It's empty. There's actually all my stuff in here that I don't want to go in the van because I like to guard my things. <laughs> so like my bags all go in one box and I transport them myself in case someone steals them off the back of the van whilst we're not looking. <sighs> it's moving day. How many moving vlogs have I done now? What is this, my fourth? That's a lot of moving on one channel. <laughs> I can't not vlog on moving day anymore. It's like part of my YouTube DNA. So yeah, I've just been getting all the final bits into boxes. Managed to put on a full face of makeup and another layer of fake tan. I'm winning. But yeah, everything looks so empty. My bedroom. Oh my God, I'm so sad. My bed looks so weird on the floor. <laughs> Should we do an outfit of the day? My last outfit of the day in this flat. So this dress you will have seen in my last vlog. It's from ASOS and I'm not really doing any of the heavy lifting, but I will be so... Yeah, I'm wearing a cute dress. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can lift in a dress, you know? I've also gelled my hair back today to avoid any baby hairs and any issues. And now I look like an egg. But yeah, that is my final outfit of the day in my flat, complete with slippers. I need to find some shoes before I end up putting them in a box and sticking them in the van and then walking around like this for the rest of the day. So if you're back, I'm gonna find shoes. My bedroom is so empty. Oh my God. Oh. I'm really sad I'm gonna miss this bedroom. It's the most boring bedroom I've ever loved. It is so hot today, guys. I am dewy, glowy AF. We're nearly there. The sofa's on its way out. We had a little break for lunch. Lovely little hummus and olives. Hi, I'm Susie Bernardi and welcome to my crib. So you are currently in my hallway, which I just realized today there was a plug socket in. I never knew that was there. This hallway is so dark and I could have put a lamp in there all along. I've been bitching about it for... How long have I been bitching about it? Forever. Forever. I, just, I wanted to put a lamp there and there was no cable. I can't. Yeah. Utility room. Which I love that that greets people. Like, hi, welcome to my home. Here's my big pile of washing that I haven't done yet. But right now it's housing, tech and bags. Moving on. Down the hall, we have my wardrobe room. Which is not looking so wardrobe anymore. This would have made a better bedroom, I feel like. Oh, things wrong. Here, we have my phone. Hello? Right, people. I'm like, Hello? No, I don't want post today. Thank you, bye. No cookies today. Like Vernon and Dursley. No post on Sundays. This is my bathroom. I love my bathroom so much. It's been a great bathroom. Apart from the shower that's been not working for a while. But anyway, this is my bedroom. I really love this bedroom. Apart from this, I really hated this. This is the ideal spot for a bed. And it just didn't really work out. But actually kind of glad because the guy's bedroom next door backs onto this one and let me tell you it's been a treat this is my living room this is my favorite room in the entire flat this view is like just one of the reasons why i love it so much i don't think i would have picked this flat if it went for this room in this view but it's so pretty i'm gonna really miss it i've cried like how many times three or four times i've lost count it's like 24 <laughs> hours and i know there's gonna be more to come <laughs> No, I'm not crying anymore, I'm done. Um, she says, yeah, so this is my kitchen area. I love, because I don't like cooking, but basically the only reason I spend time in my kitchen at all in this flat is because it's the same room as my living room. So I've actually got some use, unlike the old one. I love this pillar as well. It's weird, but I like it. This is my balcony. I love this balcony. I love the view. I don't love the noise, but I love the view. So I live opposite a big park and it's just gorgeous, like, I love it. In the summer it's like, beautiful. So yeah, I've been your host, Susie Benardi. Thank you for coming to my crib. Hope you enjoyed. Now get out of here. Now get out of here. <laughs>
I feel like I'm on an emotional roller coaster. I can't stop smiling. So we got here and the guys have literally just like, we're like ships in the night. They've finished doing the flooring. They've cleaned everything. They have left. There is a tiny bit of painting left to be done, which we're just gonna have to wait until, I think until lockdown is over really, unless we get a chance to, basically we don't wanna like sleep in a room that we've painted and it, unfortunately it's the bedroom that is the last room. Yeah, so this needs another lick of paint. So if you see any like spots that you're like, that's why. We are in, we are in. I cannot wait for the stuff to start arriving. And here we have the reason why I don't do fridge chores regularly. weird and not quite right but it's gonna look like this for a little while i'm just kind of ignoring it but yeah it looks so much brighter in here without all the gray i'm so so happy with it i'm excited to hopefully tomorrow i'll get time to put my new lights up yeah i can't wait to eventually kind of really get my hands on this room and get stuck into it it's gonna be amazing the kitchen is almost organized we just have some bits over here that we need to find new homes for or that are already going to new homes i've got a table over there which i have a new owner for so that one is going to be going at some point but yeah this is my little kitchen i'm so happy with these lights they look so good i've got my island fridge everything is kind of like inbuilt which i'm super happy with i actually found out today that this can move and the floor underneath is just completely like it's not cut around it and you can actually move this which is amazing i didn't know that so good yeah i have had a go at organizing everything we still need some fine tuning but lots of you will remember the saga of me having to try and find the perfect size drawer organizer this one already came with one and i'm so happy about that <laughs> so good and yeah we've just been sorting through all of the cupboards just making sure everything is kind of functional and makes sense as much as possible. I'm gonna be cracking up Prosecco later, so I'm looking forward to using my new glasses. Yeah, really happy, really tired, like literally can barely string a sentence together. But really happy, I'm very excited about my giant fridge. I feel like this fridge is bigger than the other one, I'm so happy with it. I'm happy we're almost done and I'm gonna have a Fanta in a minute and it's gonna be great. This is what we're dealing with in the bedroom. It's a lot. Bed is ready to go up, so we'll be doing that in a minute. And I'll show you all of the rooms at a later point, I think, when they're kind of like looking a little bit more right. <laughs> at the moment, everything has just been like dumped because we were trying to get everything done as quickly as possible. So yeah, I don't even know what's in half of these boxes. So excited. I'm so happy that everything really came together today. Like I really thought that it was going to be a bit of a nightmare, like moving stuff in and like getting the sofa in because at first I thought that this room wasn't going to be done once we arrived and we could kind of like come around the back because no one was working on the back and start like unloading stuff off the back but I just wasn't sure what we were going to do with the sofa and the sofa takes like a lot of strength to do. I was just really worried about it ending up being stuck in like the kitchen and everyone was like, yeah, it's fine. Just like leave it in the kitchen. Like everyone was pep talking me, but I was slightly worried about it like denting the vinyl flooring in there because it's like softer, which is not ideal. But yeah, the flooring that has gone down throughout the living room, hallway and bedroom 
is LVT, which I think stands for, I always thought it was laminate vinyl tiles, but then someone the other day said luxury vinyl tiles and I'm just not entirely sure which one. I've had so many questions on it on my home account. Lots of people like asking things about it and calling it different names. So I'm gonna call it LVT because that's what my floor guy calls it. I've heard other flooring people call it other things so it is very very confusing to me anyway i will try and find the color for you i'm gonna make a little highlight on my home account as well so that you guys can go there and like reference it and use that as like a reference for everything and i'm going to talk about the flooring and kind of the thought process behind it in full because that's one thing that i found that no one has really done yet um, I'm going to put you down. My arm is aching. So yeah, the one thing I found when I was like doing my research on flooring and what other people had is that no one really talks about what they have. And then I like DM'd a few people and I was like asking questions about their flooring and what they have and whether they went with like engineered wood or LVT. And you would be so surprised at the amount of people that had LVT that you would never ever know. And I genuinely thought that it was going to be either real oak or like, I don't know, real solid wood and i was so surprised and thankfully quite relieved because there is a massive massive price difference between the two so i'm super super happy and so thrilled with the fact that it is actually like you would not know that it's not wood like to stand on it it's not like like i have vinyl in the kitchen and you can tell that it is squishy but this doesn't feel squishy at all it's like proper solid and i think it does help but obviously i've got a bungalow so you may have noticed there are no stairs so things are very very sturdy i can't comment for how it would feel upstairs in a house but i'm so happy with it so happy with it even the color as well i was really struggling because the doors are a wood color and i really didn't want to have something that contrasted even though lots of people were like i think a contrast is really nice i just really wasn't sure and in the end this one is like lovely because it's not one solid color there's lots of different tones running through it which actually the lighter tones match the door but then you have the darker tones which also contribute to it looking a bit more real so yeah i'm so happy with it the guys got it down so quickly and did an amazing job but yeah i'm gonna get this bed together and stop rambling at you and i hope that my eyes haven't been doing weird dodgy things throughout the whole time i've been talking to you because this one is just so like leaky it's unreal i swear this happens anytime like it's a hot sunny day at the moment i think the pollen count is like high so yeah it's time to get this bed together otherwise princess Suze is gonna be sleeping on the floor I need to sort these pillows out because they're out of center, but we did it. I love this room. It's so cute. I don't think that's going to stay there, but yeah, so cute. I'm so happy with it. My eyes are just non-stop leaking. I need to hoover. Brian's going to order pizza. I'm going to hoover, try and get rid of some of this dust because I think it's really messing with my face. I just can't look at anyone or anything yeah we're having a little lie down celebrating our achievement of having put the bed together i feel like we've done so much today yeah i'm so happy i'm really excited i mean I'm, I'm looking at my ceiling there i'm so excited for the light to arrive i'm really looking forward to furnishing this place because i literally barely did anything to the flat in the year and a half i lived there because i knew that i wanted to save my money for when i had to do it for a house if it is nice tomorrow i'm gonna be in the garden with a glass of, about to say a bottle of rosé a glass of rosé because it's so nice out there and hopefully if i'm a really really lucky human being my sofas are gonna arrive tomorrow for the garden i have a man with a van coming with my old sofas from my old house and Oh my god, I'm so excited to be back on them because I love those sofas. They were the best home bargain I think I've ever bought. Okay, let's get pizza and I can hoover. My eye, I need to take my makeup off because my eye is actually hurting from where I've wiped away my like leaky eyeness. Oh my god, I need to get this makeup off. In my face. Ryan's 
got his vegan pizza. Very excited about it. We just found out these were a thing recently. So good. Huh? <laughs> I just want to go back to my cell. Because in my cell, I can smoke. Smoke away! <laughs> What's the time? How early are we in bed? 23 minutes past nine. Wow. I think... I'm gonna take a wild stab in the dark and I'm gonna say goodbye now. I mean, I'll see you in the morning anyway. So if you carry on watching this vlog and there's more vlog footage, that means that this vlog was shorter than I thought. I am exhausted. So I am probably gonna end this vlog here. I feel really weird not being back at the flat. Like I feel like I've abandoned her. I feel really weird about it. I way prefer it here. Yeah, Ryan is loving life here. Like literally, he doesn't look like it. He looks really um, depressed i'm so happy i like i can't believe that i managed to pull this off smashed it yeah we smashed it <laughs> i'm actually losing the plot <laughs> like i've been like this is what happens i should not get up before 7 30 and i stand by that because even when i held a nine to five i would not get up before 7 30. i didn't care if i had to like literally be out the door at 7 40. it was not happening because my body just doesn't function in that way and i stand by that because 6 a.m. is not a time that means I function well. I was actually craving breakfast this morning. That is strange. Yeah, that is strange. I'm gonna have to do the same tomorrow though because we don't have any food. I've got leftover pizza. Oh. Have you? I, don't, I never eat the leftovers. It's like mine and Lauren's rule. It's like our cardinal rule of takeout is don't eat the leftovers. That's like the um, best part. Why? Wow. even though I love cold pizza, but no. So I will be doing a coffee run early tomorrow morning. Okay. That sounds great. Yeah. And the internet man is coming to install. So hopefully tomorrow you will still be seeing a video from yours truly. <laughs> the last video that went up. Fingers crossed. I just can't stop thinking about the internet man being like a superhero. <laughs> he should be. He the is. They are superheroes. That's why I'm so nice to them on the phone. Like anyone else calls me, I'm like, why are you calling me? The Virgin Man calls me, I'm like, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Excellent work. Thank you. To summarise. <laughs> I always feel weird after moving, so I feel weird in the house, and then... Um, weird in the house, and I'm in the house weird. Thank you, I was trying to finish that sentence, and I was like, how does that sentence end? I feel weird, Ryan is loving life here, like absolutely loving life, even though he's awkward turtling. I am excited to have internet tomorrow, and spend the afternoon drinking rosé in the garden, because, yeah, I think I've earned it. Moving in lockdown has been stress and Ryan deserves a glass of rosé because he's had to put up with... I have been so stressed. And also I've cried like three times in the past 24 hours for absolutely no reason. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. I've been vlogging for like five minutes now. So this is definitely time to end the vlog. Goodbye. I love you so much. I hope you've enjoyed the moving vlog. I will link all of my previous move, move, moving. <laughs> I will link all of my previous moving videos in the info box below for you for you to go back and like catch up on my life. I also just found a photo of my first moving out Instagram photo. I'll show you in a sec. I'll put it on screen. And it's like a proper throwback. So I'm gonna link all of my previous moving videos below. And I will link my home Instagram in case you wanna go look at that. And I will try and get those flooring deets in the info box and on the home instagram in a highlight for you and i am going to see you guys tomorrow minus the pointy finger because i don't know what this is <laughs> <laughs> love you bye do you want to say love you bye love you bye love you bye <laughs>